Michael, congratulations. Coral Shootout Champion, your first ranking event victory. Must be a fantastic feeling. But first of all, just tell us what was going through your mind in that last frame there when you built a big lead and then Graham was coming back in. It was incredible drama. Yeah, I think it was a lapse of uh, concentration on, on that black that I missed. Um, you know, with these fine cloths, you know, the slightest bit of side or if you don't hit it properly, you, you're not going to get it in. So, I mean, the way he came back at me, the, the speed and the efficiency he was playing at was phenomenal. And I, th I actually thought I was going to be a runner-up the way he was going to the way he was going. Um, luckily, the, the brown was my saving grace, and yeah, it feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe the emotion when you potted that final pink? It was because I half expected that I was going to, you know, be the runner up when when that opportunity arose and when that went in. It was just kind of like huge relief, and I mean, to be walking away with the trophy is just phenomenal for me. 10 or 11 years ago, you won the World Under-21 title. You're obviously a tip for, for, for big things. You had a, you've been on and off the tour a few times. You know, you've been working away from snooker and then come back into the game. After all those years of trying and practising, how does it feel now to, to win your first ranking title? It's all been worth it, absolutely. Um, it feels like more than 11 years ago that you know I won the World Under-21s. But um, for me, it's all, the, all the work and all the practice and all the commitments that I've made... Um, and, you know, it hasn't been a solo effort. I've had great support around me. Um, so it is, it is a team effort, and I'm just so grateful for it, to be honest. And your, your family is from Cyprus originally. You yourself um, became a Cypriot national last year. What could this mean for snooker in Cyprus? Well, I hope it kind of has the same effect that tennis did when uh, Marcos Baghdadis um, reached the final of the Australian, I think, I can't remember how many years ago. There was a huge spike in tennis over in Cyprus, so I'm hoping that it will do the same for snooker. And the other huge bonus for you is that you came into the tournament needing to win it to get into the Labrokes World Grand Prix next week or the week after, and you've done that. You're in the World Grand Prix, you're going to Preston. How does that feel? That hasn't sunken in yet. I didn't even um, contemplate that happening. Um, I thought it would be nice, but you know, I thought I didn't earn enough this season to actually have a shot of that, so... To be included in that as well, it's another tournament to look forward to, and I'm I'm really excited about that. And thirty-two thousand pounds top prize plus another two grand for the high break, by far the biggest payday of your career. What are you going to do with the money? I haven't, I have no idea. I haven't even thought about it. So um, I'm, I'm sure my, my family is going <laughs> to find a few ways to spend that for me. So. And having played so well this week, got your first title under your belt. Do you feel this could be the first of many? Um, I'd like to think so. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm putting the hours in. Um, I'm working harder than ever and now I've got that belief that I can well I've lifted a trophy this week there's no reason why I can't do it again Congratulations Michael enjoy the moment